Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Open Source Tonight. Folks, what I'm going to show you today is how we can use X forwarding to show a window on another operating system, such as Mac OS or another Linux install, where we remotely render or remotely run and then render a local copy of the application. So let's give it a try, everybody. Here's what we're going to do I'm going to run gedit from my desktop. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make this terminal a little bigger here. We're going to use SSH dash capital X. That's going to make an encrypted X forwarded connection to that system. Next, we're going to put in, if it's a different username than what we have here, we need to put our username in. In my case, it's just Vincent Maggard, so I'm going to leave that alone. Next, we'll put in the IP in this case. Okay. Now, I haven't connected to the system before, so we're going to just type yes to accept the key. If you've already done that connection once before, you won't have to do that anymore. Now, I'm going to type my password in. And just like that, we're setting logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run gedit by typing gedit and hit enter. And this is actually not running on my remote or on my local system. This is Linux Mint in a Linux Mint Debian edition in a virtual machine. But I'm not running this on my local system. And we can look here if I can find where's the here it is on Studio Workstation. And if we look back here, you can see that that's not the same host name. So we are successfully running this over an X forwarded connection. Now something simple like this runs pretty quick, but something big like a web browser, not so much. All right, so we're looking here at my Mac. Um, actually remoted into my Mac using a different thing called Persac, but that's not the point. We're gonna go ahead and show how we can use X forwarding to do the same thing again, but this time on Mac OS. Now on Mac OS, unlike Linux, you need to have this program called X Quartz installed. So I'm going to go ahead and just run it here, and then I can show you how to install that afterwards. So I'm going to put the password in and the same part for the command. Okay, and we're back logged in now. And so now what we can do is I can simply run gedit again. So I'm going to go gedit, hit enter, and in a second, there it is. It's on my Mac. And... There we go, I was rendering a little strange there for a second. And again, if you have any doubts, we can go up here and go, oh, it actually doesn't say it on Mac OS, but you can see here the little X, uh, the little Mac OS X thing here in the corner. It is running on the Mac. You can see up here, everything is. And so that's how that works. So anyway, now let's show how to install it. So all you have to do is you just download from this website up here, you just take that and you're gonna download X Quartz. And that's it. This will allow you on Mac OS 9.10 and later to be able to actually run your application remotely like that. So there you go. I don't know why the mouse is doing that's a weird remote session issue or something. Anyway, there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. And action.